Hello friends and welcome to our sixth and final week of Lonsdale Public Library Summer Reading Program. This video is for the readers. Pre-readers, there is a different video for you. Wow, has our summer reading program gone by fast this summer, hasn't it? Our program technically ends on Saturday, July 20th at 2 p.m. So you need to get your reading logs in before that day if you finished them all, just so that we can get you registered for the grand prize drawings. We're not going to draw until next week though. So if you don't hear from us right away, don't worry, there's still a chance that you might win a prize. But you need to make sure that you have those reading logs completed and brought in by Saturday at 2 p.m. And speaking of important dates, on Tuesday, July 16th at 1 p.m., Munchkin the Miniature Horse will be here. Yes, a real live miniature horse. I can't wait to see him and I can't wait for you guys to see him either. So make sure you're here at one o'clock on Tuesday, July 16th, if you see this video before then. Now, as usual, we have our packets. And this last week, we have a circus adventure. It has coloring sheets, it has activities, and of course, it has the craft. Our craft seems really simple this week, but I think it's really cool. So for our craft, all that will be in this packet is a square with this X-shaped person on it and four paper clips. That's it. So first thing you would do is you would color your man or woman, but we can't really add a skirt because we've got to be able to cut exactly the X like it is. So you can go ahead and color it. You can decorate it with markers or crayons, and then you cut it out. So I am just cutting really quickly across here. And as I said, you can use whatever colors you want. It's pretty simple that it is an X. And so it doesn't take too long to cut out. You might wanna take a little bit more time on yours than I'm doing on mine, just because mine might be a little bit sloppy. And it's a little tricky to cut around his hat, but do your best. The hat does have a little cut out in the top. It doesn't come quite to a point. So make sure that you do that little cut out. And I have all of that done. I just have to do this part here. So now we'll pretend that mine is all colored and decorated like yours will be. And he's all cut out. Now we're going to take these paper clips. And have you ever hooked paper clips together? It's pretty easy to do. You just uh, stick one inside the other so they look like that. And we want two sets of that. We don't want one long chain of four. We want two sets of two so they look like this. And then all you do is take one of the paper clips and hook it right on the end of the long side of his X. So he's upside down. All right, and you want to do the same with the other two paper clips. Just hook them right on the end there. And now you might be looking at me and saying, but Miss Penny, that, that seems pretty silly. Why do we do the simple craft? Here is why. The paper clips help him to balance. And you can try this on anything around your house. I have one balancing on my computer monitor right now on the corner. You can try it on water bottles. You can try it on maybe even the top of an ink pen. Let me know what you can get your little balancing guy to balance on, because I think this is a pretty cool idea. So I've enjoyed doing crafts with you, and I'll see you when you stop in to drop your reading logs off. 